Hi Freedom Family, what's up? I hope you guys are doing awesome today. Guys, do you remember in one of my episodes that I have said I will be making more shows for you guys? So today, I will introduce to you one of my new shows, which is Freedom Hot Seat. As the title suggests, we will be showcasing a lot of people here, including Freedom Partners, Freedom Staff. I know you guys want to be part of this show, and you can. You just need to fill up the Google form down in the links below. We are making this show because we want to give back to our Freedom Partners who are working hard to make amazing content. And also, we want to give non-partnered YouTubers a chance to get their channel exposed to our Freedom Partner. Today, we will be showcasing the Freedom Partner, Taser Urbex. His channel was primarily about gaming content but there was a point in his YouTube career that he decided to move to another content which is urban exploration. Let's get to know Taser Urbex more. So Taser Urbex, what's the story behind your channel? Initially on YouTube, I didn't actually start off doing urban exploring. I actually started off doing gaming. Gaming is something that I really enjoy and I've always felt passionate about. I've been a gamer for absolutely ages, since I was very, very small. Um, and when I started YouTube, it seemed like the natural thing to go to uh, because it was kind of the thing that everyone was doing. But for me, as time went on, I found that I was actually enjoying gaming less and less because of the amount of people that were demanding like more gaming videos and different gaming videos. I just found that I was trying to force myself to try and enjoy these games rather than sitting back, relaxing and actually enjoying them. So alongside my gaming channel, I did actually start a secondary channel, which was to do with getting out and enjoying life and relaxing and chilling and just trying to experience new things. And that channel was called Days Lived. And like I said, it focused all around days that I thought that I'd actually lived. So I went out and did loads of different things like outdoor activities, days out with my kids. Um, but one of the things that I really wanted to do, and I, I, I was like, I'm going to do that at some point, is urban exploration. When I got the opportunity to actually go and try it with a few friends of mine, I took it up straight away. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And from then on, I had the bug. I just didn't want to do anything else. I was totally conflicted because at the time in my mind, I'd already built up this audience of about a thousand subscribers um, to do with the gaming. And I thought if I changed from that now, I'd be basically starting over again. So... After a lot of deliberation, I did eventually decide to actually make that decision and change from gaming to urbex and it was the best decision I've ever made. During an interview with you on a previous Skype message, you said that you like the idea of breathing life into places long forgotten. So that in itself is a challenge, but it's a challenge that I really enjoy. Sometimes when you go to a place, uh, you don't even need to try. The place itself is beautiful. Like the whole decay, that urban look, can really like make something powerful straight off the bat. You don't need to do much to it. Other times you have to have a more keen eye and to try and like seek out the beauty in place it's about being imaginative and trying out different things and seeing what works. Sometimes stuff doesn't work, sometimes it does, but every time I go I have fun. And it's through this creativity and the medium of filming that I'm actually able to almost breathe life into these places that have been long since forgotten sometimes, which is incredible. It is actually incredible because, again, a lot of these places are just sitting there and no one knows about them or if someone does know about them they're just not using it for anything. And these places gather dust, they... <laughs> they just decay on their own. You wouldn't believe how much things just decay without anyone having to do anything. Um, so sometimes it does feel like these places have just been forgotten, especially when you go into a house where there's belongings and you always ask yourself why these things have been left here. Why is no one um, interested in taking these with them and owning these things? And there's always an interesting story behind it and half the fun is finding out what that story is. How do you feel now that that idea is now becoming your reality? Honestly, it's, it's probably one of the hobbies that's incredibly hard to have any expectations for whatsoever. Uh, I like it when there's the stuff, belongings, like I said, that piece of the puzzle that tells you what happened. Uh, sometimes when you go to places and it's just an empty shell, it's really hard to try and uh, get enthusiastic about it. But usually you find something, whether it's the architecture, whether it's the, the environment that it's in, uh, whatever it is, but you always find something. But in terms of when I first started Airbex, my expectations were... I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it was just about the experience for me then. Like, I want to go and explore these places, and it's, it's amazing what I do, but at the same time, I want to try and portray that in the video to the people watching at home. And uh, that's always the challenge. That's always the really hard bit, is to try and portray exactly how you feel, exactly how you see the place to the audience that are watching the video. What were the challenges that you encountered while you were out exploring? There's a lot of challenges when it comes to exploring. I mean, that's half the fun, to be honest. Um, obviously, there's the finding the places, the very first thing, because these places are 
left abandoned for a reason. No one knows about them, and that's kind of the point. But you need to see past that, and you need to be able to find those places, uh, whether that's through a network of friends, because uh, the Urbex community is quite tight-knit, and everyone talks to each other about stuff. We swap sites all the time. So whether it's finding out through friends, whether it's Google Maps searching, uh, which can take hours and hours of laborious, like searching through satellite images, trying to find places, and then just going and checking them out. Once you get to a place, the other challenge is also finding a way into it. Now, on my channel, I have a certain set of rules that I follow, and uh, the biggest one of those is no breaking and entering. Um, so we don't ever break and enter into somewhere. If we can't get into somewhere, we can't just walk in somewhere, we don't go in. Um, and that's always a big issue because sometimes you can travel for hours and you get there and you're like, oh, it's such a good place and you just want to, but we don't because it's illegal and it's wrong and we don't do it. On top of that, we also have safety because these places are dangerous and they're usually like left abandoned, not maintained. Uh, so you have to think about safety shoes, where you're walking, uh, safety clothes. Like I have a specific hoodie that I wear that is just for exploring because it doesn't matter if it gets wrecked and I have safety shoes and things for if I step on glass, nails, all that kind of stuff, they protect my feet. Um, so you have to be careful. There's a lot of challenges around um, exploring. Uh, but once you get it right and once you can do it and you can start filming, uh, that's when the whole thing comes together and you start making a really cool creative video. Of course, there are a few locations that you want to go, but what is the ultimate goal or the ultimate location that you guys want to visit? I think it's on everyone's list. If you know anything about urban exploring uh, or you are an urban explorer, then Chernobyl is like an absolute must. Um, and I'm trying to plan a trip to Chernobyl next year as well. So fingers crossed that will become a reality very, very soon because it is incredible. It's got an amazing story behind it, very sad story as well, but it's an entire city that just upped and left one day, and that's just incredible. I can't really fathom that in my mind. I kind of have to go and see it. I've never done any kind of explore that's anything like that, um, not on that scale anyway. So that's definitely one site I've always wanted to explore. And uh, also I want to do a trip down Route 66 in America and uh, go and explore a lot of the places that are along there because there's lots of abandoned ghost towns and things like that, which I think would be really cool. What message can you give to YouTubers who want to make different content on their channel? Um, I would actually seriously consider suggesting doing it because uh, it's never too late. I mean, until you've got like a massive audience of like say 30,000 or more subscribers, you can go and change that quite easily. It doesn't really matter. Um, at the end of the day, what's important is that you're happy doing the sort of content that you want to make. And if you're not, switch it up, change it, make it so you are happy. At the end of the day, this is supposed to be fun from me i hope you guys have enjoyed that uh you could find me on my channel where i upload explores every single saturday um, and i also do other things as well i've got a documentary coming up might be on the channel already by the time you guys see this um, where i spent an entire week eating nothing but green colored food so that's like a full-length documentary that i spent months making so i hope you guys enjoy that and all the other content on my channel and if you still don't have a clue what urbex is please just check me out and then see what you think you might like it you never know anyway thank you for having me and i'll I'll see you guys later on. And there you have it, Freedom Family. Are you an urban exploration channel as well? If you are, then this is a good opportunity to collaborate with Taser Urbex. Check out his channel, like his videos, and also comment in them, and ultimately subscribe to Taser Urbex. Taser Urbex, thank you so much for your time, and I would really love to be working with you again. As what I always say in the Brotherhood of Gamers, this show is for you guys. Now it's not limited to gamers, but it is free to everyone. Freedom family, I hope you love this show. If you have any comments, suggestions, violent reactions, you can comment in the comments section below. Once again, my name is Nold and you are watching Freedom Hot Seat. See you on the next episode.